four years rowing as coxswain of the varsity boat. Then I spent two years coaching. The crews in the earlier 60s, uh, later 60s, the later 80s, early 90s, were really well represented with quality oarsmen. And there was a graduation from it being a varsity sport to it being a, uh, a uh, club sport. And when the uh, new boathouse got built in 66, we moved here to this boathouse. And uh, so I was able to inaugurate the new boathouse. The bays weren't nearly as filled with boats back then as they are now. Although it's not an athletic department sport, it is probably one of the most strenuous sports because you're exerting your body all the time. And in that time, you're going 100% with no rest. And that is the absolute epitome of rowing as a team. And when you've got the boat in perfect swing and perfect harmony, the boat makes a music on the water that it can't be ignored. It, it just, it gets in your, you feel it in your inside your body. The coxswain feels it, the, the rowers feel it, the boat moves in unity and it's almost like it's floating above the water. And that feeling is what all the rowers are trying to capture, that ecstasy, that point where you are one with the boat and your boat is one with you. And when you do get that, that synchronicity, there is nothing more beautiful to watch than an eight rowing in a majestic, totally together fashion. That's why they keep coming back.